Well, while Florida avoids the hassle of shoveling snow during the winter, it does get chilly from time to time. When winter is upon us, ocean temperatures drop into the 40s, but some people just can't resist getting in the water. And that includes First Coast News storm expert Steve Fundero. He explains how a wetsuit makes it all possible. <laughs> Back in the 50s, over in Santa Cruz, California, a guy by the name of Jack O'Neill came up with the idea for the wetsuit. Why? Well, he wanted to surf longer in colder water. He originally started experimenting with neoprene foam vests, so he eventually came across the modern day wetsuit, and little did he know, it became a worldwide sensation. Made with neoprene, a type of rubber that traps a thin layer of water between the skin and the suit. That layer of water then warms from the body and then insulates the body. Over the past 60 years, a simple skin of rubber works so well. Nowadays, all the technology used in a wetsuit thanks to Rip Curl. What's going on? Definitely. Hey, How are you? Good, man. Welcome to Rip Curl. Your foamy neoprene in the center, mm -hmm. and then on either side, it's sandwiched by jersey material. You'll see people walking out to the beach and they're shocked you're going surfing. It's like, I'm already hot, so to get in the cold water is, is somewhat of a relief. But the wetsuit goes beyond just surfing. We can use the dive team with the Florida Department of Transportation as an example. With the 18 counties they cover, they're going underwater inspecting over 1,500 bridges. That includes the many that go up and down the St. John's River. Good protection from a lot of barnacles, oysters, you know, stuff like that. Uh, we range from, say, like a three mil to could go up to a dry suit. So whether it's a job to do the St. John's River, or maybe a scuba trip off the coast of California, or some ocean therapy here on Jack's Beach, or maybe you just don't like the cold, well, a wetsuit makes it all possible in a chilly winter. I'll see you out there. That is really interesting. Thank you, Steve.